Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you for coming to St. James' first annual back to school party on the playground. My name is Hallie Barbeau, and I'm the current school board chair. I'm so grateful so many of you have braved this heat, continuing to brave the heat, to come out today and see old friends and meet new friends. Uh, all of us know that St. James is a very special school, and one of the key ingredients to, to making it so special, setting the tone from above and making our school so wonderful, is our own Mrs. Irvin. Um, Mrs. Irvin has now been head of school here at St. James for 10 years, and we're going to take this opportunity to celebrate her with a very brief program. So, Mrs. Irvin, could you come up here and sit in this chair? <laughs> Um, Mrs. Lawrence, our third grade teacher. <laughs> Good afternoon. Um, I'd like to first introduce my Vanna Whites for um, the occasion. We have Mrs. Lori Mayer, our first grade teacher, and Miss Kim Knott, our uh, four-year-old preschool teacher. So today we would like to honor Stacy Irvin for 10 years of service as head of, as head of St. James Episcopal School. There are many attributes to admire in Mrs. Irvin, including her poise, her organization, her unwavering dedication to the St. James community, her love for the children, and above all, her impeccable style. <laughs> Mrs. Irvin is always dressed to a tee, perfectly put together and accessorized. Well, today, Mrs. Irvin, we're gonna give you just a few more accessories to complete your ensemble. Each represents a way that you have supported our school and gives a nod to the many hats you have worn during your tenure here. Hint, hint. <laughs> the story begins more than 10 years ago when Mrs. Irvin came to St. James Preschool as a mom to Aaron and Ella. <laughs> Diaper bag. <laughs> she was, of course, already an amazing wife to Joe. And a, get, and a dedicated daughter to Marie and Chuck Lowe. The best daughter necklace. She became a member of St. James Church, helping with the altar guild and readings. <laughs> well, the smart members of the church and preschool knew a good thing when they saw it. Mrs. Irvin quick, was quickly re recruited to become a school board member in 2006. The binder. <laughs> the binder. <laughs> In 2009, she was crowned head of school, and then the fun really began. <laughs> As head of school, Mrs. Irvin spearheaded and implemented the additions of grades 1 to 5, as well as our VAIS accreditation. She has taken on many different roles throughout her 10 years here, some very obvious and others not so much. Every morning and afternoon, she helps students get ready to get to and from their cars safely, our very own crossing guard. <laughs> she greets our students with a big smile and a good morning every day. She also welcomes parents and guests who come into the building. She is always a teacher, mentoring faculty and staff, and teaching religious ed to our upper, upper elementary students. <laughs> Mrs. Irvin dries everyone's tears, puts on band-aids, and gives warm hugs. She's the number one comforter here at St. James. <laughs> Now, once in a while, she has to referee students on the playground or in the classroom. <laughs> and coach students, faculty, and staff, not to mention the Falkier High School field hockey team. <laughs> and she's even had to plunge a toilet or two. <laughs> When not plunging toilets, Mrs. Irvin is an active member of VAIS, LSE, VPI, NAES, and ADK, 
a veritable alphabet soup of worthy organizations. <laughs> this beautiful building standing behind us would not be here without Mrs. Irvin's tireless efforts. She garnered financial support from the community, She acted as an architect and a contractor and a landscape designer. <laughs> Mrs. Irvin, none of us know how you do it, but we, we are all blessed and grateful that you do. On behalf of the St. James community, Thank you for your service. Here's to 10 amazing years. Now, SJES parent and board member, Luke Marshall, would like to say a few words about Mrs. Irvin. I'm going to leave you there. This is like 30 minutes. Thank you all for having me. Uh, it's uh, it's funny because if my uh, high school, elementary, or any of my teachers could see me up here speaking on behalf of a you know a headmaster or a principal, they would be very surprised. But here I am. Uh, you know, I don't have a lot to say. Um, my um, you know, we're talking of history of, of St. James and of Stacy and those kind of things. And our history is maybe similar uh, to most parents, uh, most uh, parents of St. James, in that we went to a small church in Remington. Uh, our priest at the time uh, was helping with St. James as, you know, a teacher's aide and what, what have you. And, and our, our, our oldest was uh, two to three years old at the time. She said, hey, if you can ever get the opportunity, please send your son up to St. James. The, the school there is amazing. The facilities are amazing. It's just something that you would want your child to be a part of. Um, you know, shortly thereafter, um, our oldest enrolled here, and that was now six years ago. Um, since that time, our, our second child is, has also come into school at St. James. Uh, we weren't sure what to expect. Um, my wife and I, uh, you know, came from different parts of the country, didn't have a whole lot of family locally, um, but we were embraced immediately by St. James. Um, you know, throughout our time, throughout all the convocations, throughout, um, you know, all the different events that St. James puts together, um, there's always been the feeling of St. James, of the familial aspect, um, and of Christianity, which is very strong to us. I, re I remember, you know, many specific times where Stacy has uh, really proven herself as not only the leader of the school, but also as a caring member uh, and caretaker of my children, which is very important to us. Um, there, were, there were times when <laughs> both of my children, you know, seeing us after, you know, an event or what have you, at the end of the pew would cry and, and reach out for us and, you know, they'd be shuttled along back to their classroom and then not 10, 15, 20 minutes later I get a text from Stacy with our child smiling or enjoying their classroom. Um, that's not something that you get everywhere. Um, that's something that um, you, at St. James you get. Um, but it's it's never it's never taken for granted. It's always a surprise. And it's always welcomed. Um, Stacy, I I feel is the heart of this school. Um, it's it's part of a larger institution in in the church. And I can't thank St. James Episcopal um, for generating all the help that they have given to the school itself. Um, and in my time on the school board. And as a parent, it's, it's obvious. Um, but Stacy is the steadfast spearhead of what I see every day happening at St. James. I couldn't be more happy to be affiliated with the school uh, and to call Stacy my friend. So thank you, Stacy. <laughs> Father Ben. For those of you who may have forgotten over the last several months in my absence, I'm Father Ben, and um, uh, I haven't used that title in a, in a while. Uh, and I've shared with Stacy uh, what she means to me and what I, I see in, uh, in what she has done for the school. Uh, and I've uh, even shared that we wouldn't be here as a family if it wasn't for her enthusiasm, uh, her leadership, the way that she... Uh, 
clearly wore her pride and uh, her total commitment to the school on her sleeve uh, from the first time we met. But I thought it might give you a snapshot of who she is as a leader and a person if I just talked about traveling uh, with Stacy, Some of us have had the opportunity to uh, uh, to go uh, on conferences uh, with Stacy, and she will pick you up at your doorstep. Uh, she probably will have a water that she got out of the, uh, the refrigerator in the garage for you. Uh, you have to pack on your own. She does make you do that. Um, you get there, and she's printed out your ticket. She's figured out where to park. She knows exactly the route uh, to get us uh, uh, onto the plane. When we get there... Uh, She's gotten a taxi or Uber or something to pick us up to take us where we need to go. Uh, she has all the details about the hotel. She's probably made reservations to where we're going to eat. Uh, she uh, is not a boss, but she's clearly the leader uh, of the group. You know, uh, uh, without overexerting, she definitely runs the show. And then, uh, usually within an hour, there's um, a two or three things at the school that need uh, that need her attention and to see uh, the way that she drops everything to uh, uh, to take care of those. things things, and then um, the girls will have a, a field hockey or softball game, and she'll uh, quickly want to make sure, uh, before they even get home from either the game, uh, how everything went. Uh, uh, she checks in with Joe, and just to watch the way that she puts all of these elements that are who she is together, uh, the way that she leads, the way that she cares, uh, the way that all of these things are integrated into her person, uh, it, it's just beautiful to see. And then when we go to these conferences, it's wonderful to see um, the people around the country have realized that here in Warrington, Virginia, uh, there is somebody special who's built something special. And um, then, as I said, we probably wouldn't be here. I know uh, that this wing would not have gotten built. And uh, before I arrived, uh, Stacy was carrying uh, the church and school through an interim period. She uh, tirelessly uh, helped promote and sell the uh, the school to, to the church, that they knew what an asset that they had in, in St. James Episcopal School, and they knew that it was their school, uh, and she uh, continued that. Uh, she made our family feel incredibly at home. Before we even arrived, uh, she was with Anna un, uh, uh, opening boxes, and uh, we, of course, were out West when she was moving into her new house. So, uh, but I just uh, cannot begin to say that uh, uh, what everyone else says is absolutely true. She is the heart and soul uh, of this school. The school would not be what it is without her, uh, and it has been uh, probably the greatest joy of my ordained life to be able to uh, work with such a partner in, in ministry. And it, it really um, it, it buoys my spirits and it makes me excited to get back to work. Almost excited to get back to work. Uh, but thank you for being a dear friend and just a gift to, to be able to spend so much time with. Thank you. And now the head of the school board, Hallie. Thank you, uh, everyone, again, for coming. Thanks to our teachers for the program, all the volunteers, to Scott Christian, who put all of this together, along with Meredith and Caitlin and um, Aaron. So um, before we end the program, we have a little surprise for you. Um, as Mrs. Lawrence pointed out, Stacy's very generously shared so much of herself uh, with the school. And um, another member of her family that she shared with us was her beloved dog, Bonnie, who was uh, a reading buddy here at St. James and a, a, a comfort dog for the children. And sadly, Bonnie passed away a few months ago, but to honor Bonnie and Mrs. Irvin, we commissioned a portrait of, Bonnie, of Bonnie, and um, I'd like to give her a hand. You can stand. <laughs> you today for your kind attention and for your open-hearted support of this wonderful school. Um, you're part of what makes it really special too. Um, that's the end of our program, but please join us. Oh, you want to <laughs> Well, thank you very much for being here today, and I would be remiss if I said that um, the, the success of the school and the feeling that you get when you walk in is it's not because of me, it's because of all of these fabulous teachers that just give of themselves day in and day out and just believe in what we do here, um, are vested in what we do, 
and see that we are really starting a wonderful foundation for so many of these kiddos and um, we're so excited for the school year to start and I'm sorry that it's so hot today but I'm so thankful that you all came out to celebrate with us and what we really hope is that every year we'll kick off the school year with something like this that can just bring all of us together because really part of what we want to build here is community um, and that's so important for the families but especially for, for the littlest ones in our community so thank you again to everyone for your support for your love this is a special place for sure and um, we can't wait for the school year to start so thank you